Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Project Ozone 3 Cap Mode. So, sorry for my voice being a little scratchy today. It's just that way. I don't know why. Um, yeah. So, in between episodes, I didn't really do anything because we kind of finished off last time in a bit of a big way, finishing off the Ergast, which I think is. Oh, that's cool. Um, I think is the second to last boss in the Twilight that we can even do in this mod pack, if I remember correctly. Yes, so we've done that one, done this one. Yeah, we have the Ice Queen. So yeah, you have to do the Alpha Yeti to do the Snow Queen. And then you can go into the Troll King. There's a bunch of stuff in that mod that I don't ever remember doing before that I don't want to mess with at the moment. One, a couple good things that came out of this boss fighting is, first of all, we have a crap ton of iron wood, which we are going to need for later endeavors. This is pretty much our haul from the twilight. You can probably... These uh, Mish Dragonauts also are really good for food. I'm going to put these away just because. Just because. We also don't need that sword for now. Some diamonds we got from in there, which is kind of nice. So, our next step is going to be crafting this, which is going to require mana if used, which requires our torch berries, osmium, and some simple crystals. Or this thing, which comes from... Okay, so we still need to do one of these. So we're going to need an osmium dust. Do we have any osmium currently in here? None in there. May have some over here in the immersive chest. I can't wait to get... Oh, I have a wolf over here. No. Nope. Okay. So we need to get some osmium cooking, or um, we just need to grind up an osmium to get the dust. We have plenty of simple crystals for now. Let me see how this is doing. Seems good for now. Just gonna leave that to its own devices. Hopefully it doesn't have any problems. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have osmium over here. Cobalt. Um, pretty sure I can just do this. And then just go through this in the crusher. Not, not the crusher, the grinder. Over here. And then we'll probably cut so that we can... Because I think we need to go get some torch berries. I don't think we have enough. That's really all we need for this speed. Yeah, there's our osmium dust. Everything else we should have on us, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we have this. We just need the torch berries. Which... Let me just check the computer and make sure I haven't picked up some. There's no berries there. Not the computer, it's the thing. Okay, we have none in here. Yep, so we're going to take a quick break and we'll come back once we got some torch berries. So see you guys in a couple minutes. Alright guys, we're back. I uh, did my little bit of adventuring I needed to do to get the stuff we needed for this. I've got everything on us to make two of these because we're going to need two of them. We're going to need one for this and one for this arcane forge. Sadly, this requires the tier one crafting table, so we can't do it yet. Oops, keep doing that. Okay, so we'll leave one in there. We need this. Some steel leaf. Uh, let's see what else do we need. We need a crafting or yeah, a crafting table, and I don't need these crystals for it. I don't think. Do the mommy for now. So what did we need from here? We need a book. 
Because we have a book of knowledge, a second book of knowledge in here. Crafting table, this, that. Oh, so this is the one that I've been using. I don't know if they're, I'm pretty sure they're interchangeable. Like it doesn't matter. Pretty sure it's client side, the, is that a ding? Where is the move is the quest line folks? Yeah, that is a ding. Okay. So now should be able to make bright crystals. I'm trying to think where we we'll probably just set Lordcraft up. It doesn't take that much space. It's like two, three tables. Probably just set it up over here. So we want to take some of these and glowstone. I don't have any there, but I'm pretty sure we have some over here. There's definitely some coming out of the mob farm. There's 16. And we're going to make up some crystals. As long as this doesn't require anything special, I really hope it doesn't. Okay, there's 32 light crystals. That should finish off that quest. And pretty sure that also opens up new somewhere in here. Astral Tone. should open new. Oh, do I need pure crystal? Which those, I'm assuming those are the ones, yeah, that require all the stuff together. Crap. All right. So we're a little ways off those. A little ways more off of those than I thought I was. But we have some bright crystals. What are the uses on these? Make light tools. Um, what is this? Verdant orb of light and then light siphon. What the hell does this do? So, does this mean we can do? No, we still need a blank room, which means we can't do that. We can definitely make this, but there's no point doing that. So I guess that's, we haven't been that long. What this? Guess we're gonna need more crystals now. I don't think that's enough. Okay. So we're probably gonna go on a quick little mining trip and get some crystals going so that we can get a bunch more research done for Lordcraft. And I don't want you guys to have to sit through that. So we're probably gonna do that off camera, bring you guys back, and we'll get into something else interesting. I don't know what that'll be. Something. Hopefully something very interesting. Oh, we also need some sky stone cooked up, don't we? Let's make sure that we don't have some already cooked up in here. Fifty one sky stone in here sky stone in here and we need to just start smelting it up. Cool. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we'll be back in a couple minutes after I get some mining done and get some more pure crystals. So yeah, see you then. Alright guys, so we're back. Um Taking a bit of a detour on our uh, goal of doing this Lordcraft stuff. I, uh, I'm i doing research right now that I can't show you. But I did like three researches and went through almost all of the ironwood. This stack is what we had in living room in this chest. I turned into ironwood. Yeah, so it's quite a lot more than we have the ability to get a hold of at the moment. So off camera, I'm going to go through and get us all the stuff we need. F still 
that again. Um, I'm going to get a bunch of it together and try to... It's not going to work. I was hoping I could just use those as like repair material. Just throw one of these. It's in var, isn't it? What material is this made out of? Steel. Okay. Probably want to convert that over to going on another aside. Uh, this is material cost of three. Get that for now. There go. That should improve that a little bit because we can just repair it up and replace it. Okay. Other thing I want to do, kind of an aside, but. I feel like we should do it is upgrade this to a diamond furnace so that we can finally smelt a little tiny bit faster. Plus it's in the main quest line and it's not super hard to do. What's the emerald furnace require? Essentially the same stuff. We could do that. Let's get some more sand. Or we don't have any of that, and we need to do this. Probably should get a better source of this, but, you know, we need a little bit for this. Alright, get that smelting. And go grab some emeralds just so we can upgrade it. Because the, re the only reason I'm upgrading this right now is. Ender. Oh, that's super easy. No. Definitely doing that. This has been kind of a random episode. What I was saying we're going to work on probably next is... Since this is going to require a lot of description tiles, and I don't think we have the stuff available currently to do that, I'm going to work on getting us an ender crafting thing set up. So some alternators and all that stuff, and it's just Dawn's done with some ender pearls to make the ender ingots, so that's pretty easy. Our thing should also be cast out by now, so. much stuff in our inventory. We have a little bit of dawn stone here. We can make some more up if we need to. So let's get our emerald furnace. Get it smelting up more stone. Much faster by far. And let's clean that. Oh, we were going to get the Let's do a couple things in an order that makes sense. Now that's a better pickaxe head. Stop this. Put the ender pearls around it to make it an ender furnace. It's checked off. And then I'm pretty sure this one requires, yeah, another store. I'm not messing with that right now. The main reason I was upgrading it so much was just to get it to a good point. I forgot about the modifiers for this thing. I don't think we can get the... We could definitely get the liquid fuel one. That'd be nice. Speed, we could do efficiency. We don't really need that anyways. be doing that ASAP. Quartz. We need a piece of quartz. Is this? No, it's not that one. 
I know this one requires ultimate ingots. We can't do that yet. And that's the true doubling one. But this one we can. And it's just some iron, a quartz, and uh, yeah, a couple other things. Processing. Three. No, we should need. I thought we had glowstone. Didn't we grab some glowstone? Do that. Now I got this. This will double ores and stuff in here, which is nice. All right, let's get it back to smelting. It's also much faster now because I put all those upgrades in it. So that should get us a good chunk of that. And let's work on the thing I said I was going to work on. If we have time left in the episode now that I've taken so many different detours. And... Uh, oh. Alternators. So, how many of these do we need for the quest? Isn't there a quest for this? I know we're doing it not for a quest specifically. We're doing it because we want to advance, but it's not in Kappa. Nuzai Omicron. I'm trying to think where it would be at if it's in a quest. Iota's armor, seed is that, Eta is thermal, Zeta we've already done, Epsilon, not that, Delta's all the magical crops, Gamma is just Beta, this is probably where it would be, unless it's in Alpha somewhere, nope, okay, so I just don't think there's a quest for that, okay. And we can get to work on it. We're just going to make an up uh, a crafting recipe worth the Ender alternators or an Ender crafting crafter. So we need five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight nine. We need nine. Recipes of the void ingots. And then we need three, four more ender pearls. <laughs> should be enough. And make sure we grab the blaze platter. Blaze powder from over here. This should be a super quick craft. There's four of that. Should be enough. I think all we need other than that is a crafting bench. Yeah, this should be quick. We'll get this done before the end of the episode. Can't do any of the crafting with it until we get into blood magic, but at least we'll be on our way. require this stupid stuff. Do I have any more of this? Single Kamenite blend. And it's what? Clay and sand. I think I have some clay in here. We just need the sand component of that.
Okay, we got some Kamenite. We'll probably have way too much Kamenite, actually, but... Uh, we made probably one too many of these. Let's put this crappy Kamenite stuff over here. And get a single more Ender... Another Ender Pearl to do that. There we go. one of those and that should be it don't know where that quest is completed let's just check where that quest completed because I looked for that quest for it. it's an Ada what is that one where is it at in Ada Oh, that was just a quest thing. Where is this at? It's in Psy. Oh, I got it. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Also, leave a comment with what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, what we need to be doing differently. And uh, other than that, check out my Twitter for updates on videos. Check out the Discord just to chill and chat with the community. Check out... Is there anything else you need to check out? Oh, yeah, you need to check out my Twitch. Uh, we're live every Saturday, Sunday, 1 to 4, Eastern Standard Time. And, yeah, with all that said, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.